Good morning friends, it's Tanya at Thrifty Treasures and it is Friday morning and I am off to a church garage sale. I have been going to this church garage sale for probably a decade. So I'm super excited. They always have a ton of stuff. I got my little buggy in the back. You can see the handle sticking up back there. I always like to bring my little buggy with me because um, sometimes when you're shopping those church garage sales, your hands can get pretty full carrying all that stuff that you find, all your treasures. So um, I will be reporting back to you guys and showing you everything I pick up. Looks like we got an early morning fender bender. Hope everybody's okay. So the line is getting long pretty fast. just left the church sell and um, I'm hoping to show you guys everything I'll make treasures that I got uh, once I get back home because as usual I'm gonna hurry 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 right <laughs> gotta get to the next sale so um, I spent a total of $24.50 at that sale and like I said everything when I go to the church sales everything's happening so fast right so um, I will probably go back today later on this afternoon and just you know give it another look a little bit slower this time because like I said when you go in initially it's like it's on right <laughs> it's just crazy people are grabbing things and it's it's the nuts it's quite the experience if you uh, never experienced it so I am off to the next hill I don't have a ton of time left but I'm um, gonna make the best of it okay just found another garage sale so I'm gonna run up there and see what they got real quick Okay, I just picked up one thing at that garage sale I just showed you. I got this Vans off the wall, cheetah print, uh, snapback hat. I paid a dollar for it. So I will probably put this up on eBay for about, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. So um, yeah, the tag's cut out. So I can't even like really see what the year is. I'm seeing another garage sale sign. Got a turn. That's a cute yard, huh? Very cute. Okay, just left that garage sale. I think that that was a couponer's uh, stockpile. Like they were getting rid, rid of some of their stockpile. But, um, you know, I gotta be honest. I am probably not gonna be buying anything at garage sales that are, you know, stockpile couponer stuff because, first of all, you don't know how long it's been sitting there. You don't know how it's been stored, if it's been stored in the hot garage. Um, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just probably wouldn't be uh, buying from them. What's that sign say? Uh, if there's a garage sale down this way. Okay, so I just got word from the husband. I have a little bit more time before I have to swing back by the house and pick up my daughter. 
so um, I just wanted to give you guys a tip like whenever you go to these uh, church garage sales and you're in a hurry and you're just throwing stuff in your bag or your buggy or whatever always take the time if you have the time to kind of go through what you have because let me tell you I mean I might have bought some stuff normally I might not have spent maybe that much money on it, but like I said everything's just happening so fast so I would just recommend if you have a chance just kind of pull over to the side and go through everything that you put in your uh, bag and make sure it's, it's really what you want make sure it's the price that you really feel comfortable paying so um, yep that's that and then I just wanted to remind everybody that uh, a couple things so this Saturday night on Dwayne's channel mothership products uh, Andy the parrot head picker is going to be auctioning off some of his items and that comes on like I said mothership products channel on YouTube at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time Saturday night and then on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central uh, we will be having the reseller six-pack show on my channel this time and we are going to be talking about hustler flipping avenues so that just means like other avenues other platforms that you sell on besides the usual eBay and Amazon and Etsy and stuff like that so I'm thinking like Craigslist offer up um, let me think what else let go and there's lots of local like Facebook groups and I know there's one there's like where I live there's one called barrage sale with a V and it's like a mommy market so really I'm only interacting with women on that group I haven't done a lot with that group in a while but um, it's really a great way to move stuff I've made a lot of money over there before as a matter of fact I um, whenever you walk in my front door there is a little like a like a side table it's real slim and it um, sits against the wall and anyway it costs like $300 but I paid for that piece of furniture totally with mommy market money so um, it's definitely a good way to make some extra money and usually I just like to do porch pickup I know a lot of people are paranoid about people stealing from them but I really haven't had any problems um, and like I said, if somebody was to steal from me, that is between them and the man upstairs. Uh, so, it's not on me, right? <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to share uh, some upcoming things with you guys. And um, I hope that you will stop by for those shows. Skippy, you want to say hi? Say hi, YouTube friends. Hi, YouTube friends. Oh, look, there's Coco, all jealous. Coco, say hi, YouTube friends. Hello. Hello. Real quick, I had to show you guys this little uh, oil warmer or uh, scent warmer turned on. It's just so pretty, isn't it gorgeous? And the control here, you can actually turn it, make it lighter to where it's not so bright if you want. And then turn it up all the way. I'm totally going to keep this. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back home, so I wanted to show you everything I picked up this morning at the church garage sale. So, um, of course, I picked up, uh, got a book at Lighthouses of Texas. Um, I thought this book would be really good for my antique booth. So I will probably put about $15 on this, and I believe I paid a dollar for it. Um, I had a few records. I uh, only picked up one. This looks interesting. And definitely Vintage Secrets of Successful Duck Calling. I don't know, it's just kind of different. So I like to pick up the wacky, weird, unusual type stuff. And I got a hat. I think the hats were all 50 cents. So this one is made of 100% wool. I did not see a designer though, but I thought that was really cute. I'll probably fit about uh, maybe $24.99 on this on eBay and Etsy. Let's see what else I got in here. Oops. <laughs> Picked up a pair of flip flops. Corkies, they were 50 cents as well. So I'll probably put these on eBay. And here is a little lighthouse, like a little night light. I paid a dollar for it. The bottom says G O Z Lefton, Bolivar Point, Texas. That's pretty cool. I don't know, I might, might end up keeping that. We'll have to see. But um, yeah, the light's in there at the bottom. 
My dogs are barking at the neighbor's dogs. Lovely. But yeah, it still has a tag on it and everything. It says Historic American Lighthouse Collection. So I thought that was neat. And then I got a really pretty little glass butterfly dish. It was a dollar. I'll probably put that in my booth maybe for $12.99 or $10. We'll see. And this was just too cute to leave behind. It is the Pillsbury Doughboy, but it looks like, um, well, definitely salt and pepper shakers here. I paid $2 for all of it. And I guess maybe this is like um, to put some soap in, maybe in the kitchen by the kitchen sink. So um, let's see what the bottom says. I can't read it. Uh, nope, that's too small for me. Uh, it does say 1997, the Pillsbury Company. So yeah, I'll have to do a little research on this. Probably going to the booth though. This is really, really pretty. It's like an oil burner. <clears throat> or I guess you could put scent chips in there. But it has a light. And it's got um, the lid that's on here just like that. And I only paid a dollar for that. And it's plug-in, of course. So it's got got a little light down in there so I thought that was really different I don't know I'll have to see what this looks like uh, when it's plugged in it might look pretty in my bathroom I know I can't keep everything right then we all swap it out for something old we'll see um, got another book uh, Mike Epstein on hitting anytime you see anything about Mike Epstein I would just go ahead and pick it up I haven't scanned this book yet it might not be worth anything but I have sold um, his DVDs in the past for really good money <clears throat> and then I got some media. I'll just go through this really quick. I haven't scanned any of this yet. Uh, Jimmy Buffett boats. And here's the brand new sealed DV, DVD. I mean, um, CD. Is it a CD? Yeah, CD. Sound, wave, and sing, play music. Here's an Xbox 360 Viva Pinata. <laughs> and here is. Uh, some of the Epstein DVDs I was telling you about, Epstein teaching system. Here's another one. These can bring good money on eBay and or Amazon. I uh, got a SpongeBob Xbox, modern worship series, acoustic guitar, the DVD, Grand Theft Auto for Xbox. And uh, I don't know if this one's gonna be worth anything. USA Softball Instructional Series, Volume 5. Anytime I see these how-to videos, I meant DVDs like this, I always pick them up. And then I have a small bag of smalls. Let me show you real quick what's in here. So I picked up this little bitty dog here. It's a dollar. And I'll probably put that in my booth for $10 or $12. And here's another one. This one says Whiskers, Martha Carey. I'll have to look that up. If they're valuable, I will uh, sell them on eBay. And that one was $2. Really cute little dog. Hey, Koki. Um, and then I picked up this little, I don't know what it is. I thought maybe it was a little coin purse, but it has a cute little horse on there. And it's uh, got some beaded work on there. It was... 50 cents. I thought Madeline might like this. She just started taking horse riding lessons. So um, I got that for her. And I got a little bit of jewelry. Not a whole lot. There were so many people looking at the jewelry. Um, and I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time. And it all looked kind of like newer jewelry too. There wasn't a lot of vintage looking uh, jewelry, which is what I really prefer. Um, and then, okay, I got this bracelet. A really big bangle. And it was $2.00. But I thought it was really pretty with some roses on it. And I got a bag for $3. I got a bag of like these, uh, a whole bunch of vintage looking earrings in there. Now I haven't looked inside, but I know like these earrings, you know, these vintage ones can sell well in my booth. I just sold a whole bunch. Gosh, probably at least uh, six to eight pairs in my uh, booth this month on sale. I think I had $10 on them, but um, since I had the 40% off sale going on, I think they're marked down to about $5.99. But still, 
$5.99 times, you know, six adds up real quick. So, and when I buy them like this and then put $10 on them and throw them in the booth, I mean, and even if I only get six, like I just said, uh, still that is uh, a good little profit. Just, you know, interesting little vintage looking earrings. It looks like some of them were marked, which is one of the main reasons I picked it up too. But yeah, I'll have fun going to this and seeing what kind of goodies I have. So that is my haul video for Friday today. Um, so I'm also going to be stepping out again in the morning. So I will be bring, bringing you guys another video uh, of tomorrow morning. So please like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.